Hi there, this video is about pigmentation. So if you are female, you have probably experienced some sort of pigmentation in your life. Invariably, this is related to hormones and or UV exposure. So guess where I'm gonna start? UV exposure. So if you take home nothing today, it is please start using a regular sunscreen. This is because in your 20s, particularly actually if you have some breakouts, so if you have some blackheads, if you have some congestion, it's really tempted to get into that cycle of, oh, the sunbeds or the sun really helps my skin because it helps dry it out. Mm, well, I'd say other things can help your skin as related the congestion and it will be inevitable that you will, kind of late 30s, 40s, into your 50s, you will start seeing the pigmentation effects from that sun exposure. Remember, 90% of skin aging is caused by UV exposure. So it can be really problematic. I think nowadays with the sunscreens out there, it's incredibly easy to incorporate this into your skincare regime. If you go on holiday and you say, oh, I just really like getting the sun on my bones, that's great. Cover your face and then tan the rest of your body. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna pass any judgment on that. What I am going to say is the face is really prone to pigmentation. As somebody who has made those mistakes in the past, I don't mind admitting that, now managing my pigmentation is one of the biggest challenges of my skincare regime. So I feel like I can speak to you as a person with experience of this. Um, this is also related to part of my ethnic background. I think anyone with those kind of Mediterranean roots, you're more likely to experience it. If you're Fitzpatrick 1 and 2, you're from that uh, Celtic uh, background, Irish, Scottish, it's far less likely. Um, however, the rest of, if you're thinking about continental Europe type uh, backgrounds, I think it's more likely that, that this will come to bite you on the bottom at some point in the future. Before I um, stop preaching to you about this, let me just show you some of the examples of uh, people say, oh, I don't like using skin, uh, sunscreen because it looks, it looks strange. It's a funny addition to my, um, it's another thing to do in the morning, blah, 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 which is, which is fine, I can't disagree with that. Um, I am a massive advocate of the Moisture Matte range from Illumiere. And this, it comes in three different colours. This is the amber. I like the amber tint because it makes me look a little bit warmer in the face. It's a bit like my tinted moisturiser go a little bit warmer. As you can see here, it's white when it comes out of the tube. I've used a tiny amount. You're going to see how I've completely overused that. Rub it in now. And it gives you foundation level cover. So that is absolutely fantastic. Next to nothing to rub it in. And then you've got a nice matte finish and it comes in a color. So I just say, how easy is that? So for the sake of somebody saying it's another thing to do in the morning, well, I'd say, actually, unless your foundation is all that, why don't you give this a go? Try and replace your foundation with something like this. Um, UV exposure, we certainly used to get people who used the old CR8, CRT screens, so the big, thick computer um, screens. They used to have UV exposure. Nowadays, I don't think so. I think most uh, most flat screens don't have uh, those, those, those rays coming out. Certainly devices have blue light though. Um, and from what I understand, we're not sure whether that blue light is responsible for some skin aging in the way that we understand UV uh, exposure can age the skin. So what I'm saying to the people who use devices a lot during the day, maybe you're in front of a screen eight hours a day, um, I don't know what impact that's having on your skin. If you happen to use a sunscreen though, particularly physical protection like this, this is like uh, minerals that sit on the skin, it prevents anything getting through, which is why it's a great protect and something for you to think about anyway. Okay, so back to the reason why I'm talking you to, to you today. You understand prevention. Certainly, if you now have pigmentation, if you're not using sunscreen, there's nothing I can do to help you. Which is why I say to people, just use sunscreen in the first place and we don't have to get into, uh, into such complexities. 
Right, so here's my homemade diagram. My apologies for it. I know it's not to scale. I know I've missed out loads of other important structures, but these are some of the important points that I regularly talk about. So I thought it might be healthy, healthy to share with you. So you can see the mel melanocytes here quite deep on the epidermis this way and you can see that there's there's like the, the the nucleus there you've got the base and then you've got the fingers that go up there through um into your into your skin and then um that's that that base here is responsible for producing melanin which is um, your suntan it's the baseline color of your skin for instance that's that's the shade that that, that we notice externally so if we are treating any pigmentation concerns the best way to treat it is three ways. One, sunscreen, we've covered that. To reduce your UV exposure because any exposure to the sun and it's like a fire, you know, a fire setting off in your skin, it will activate that base and then melanin will kind of spike up in those areas. So where you're getting that, please, uh, this is why you need to use the sunscreen. Number two, you can use um, kojic acid type preparations and many other substances, by the way, that are, that are really good in kind of just shrinking down the melanin, particularly at the ends of those fingers there. So that's, that's quite good at toning it down a little bit. And over three or four months, if you use certain um, ingredients and formulations in a committed way, you can turn off some of the melanin production there at the base. That takes time and it's going to take, realistically I say to people, about three to four months for you to start noticing the difference with that. The benefit of doing that is, let's say you forget to use your sunscreen one day, you're not going to go back to where you started with, uh, with, with your pigmentation quite flared up. So by being committed and keeping up with that, it can mean that, um, that if you have a, a day off, you're not going to step backwards. Other things you can do, yep, you can use retinol. Retinol's quite good. That's known to help with pigmentation. Um, look after your skin, of course. Yeah, any fine lines uh, that, that can uh, exacerbate, that you can lose your skin clarity in that way. Uh, retinol's, I've talked about this in, in the past, great at just covering loads of different bases as regards to um, skin aging pigmentation, turnover, it, it really is the business with uh, with many, many different types of concerns. Um, yeah, in, in clinic peels, I use a very powerful retinal peel, that's 3%, so that's a really, really good amount. That's that's quite good at improving pigmentation. Um, there's some other Jesna peels that I can use that have got some very powerful antioxidants, uh, very, very high concentration of lactic acid, for instance, that's also helpful in using that turnover in order to take out the melanin a little bit. Um, if you have uh, black or Asian skin, you may notice that you get pigmentation too. We can certainly use these home care products. Uh, for in-clinic peel, I would need to see you um, on some of these pre-peel formulations about two weeks before we do the actual peel in order to, to turn down the risk. What can happen is that where some of the melanin is towards the end of those fingers, um, any peels can um, irritate, it's probably not the best word to use, but I hope you, you know what I mean, irritate the area a little bit and you can get a little bit of hyperpigmentation if, uh, if, we, if we don't kind of shrink down um, any, any melanin in those, uh, in those fingers. Okay, so I hope that's been of help. Please do ask me any questions, you're more than welcome to. Uh, lots of different brands use anti-pigmentation products. Um, I, I can give you a hand over why you would select certain brands, what certain formulations you would benefit from. Do just let me know. Cheers.